In September 2024, Armenian Defense Minister Surin Papakayan visited South Korea to explore the potential acquisition of K-2 Black Panther main battle tanks, produced by Hyundai Rotom. This visit coincided with Papakayan's participation in the 2024 high-level meeting on responsible military use of artificial intelligence, RAM, held on September 9th and 10th. During his trip, Papakayan initiated discussions with South Korean officials about the supply of advanced weaponry, focusing on the K-2 tank. Additionally, Armenian Security Council Secretary Armin Grigorian traveled to South Korea on September 6 for meetings centered on weapons procurement. This growing relationship with South Korea is part of Armenia's broader effort to diversify its defense suppliers, moving away from its historical reliance on Russia. The K-2 Black Panther tank offers significant advantages for Armenia, where approximately 86% of the terrain is mountainous. The K-2 Semi-Active Pneumatic Suspension System, which automatically adjusts to the terrain, enhances its mobility and precision, making it particularly suitable for operations in Armenia's challenging landscapes. This advanced tank, currently in service with the South Korean Army, has attracted attention from other nations, including Poland and Romania. Poland has already received 46 K-2 units, part of a broader contract for 180 tanks, and is negotiating additional orders. The K-2 is seen as a cost-effective alternative to the German Leopard 2A8, with the K-2 priced at 26.2 billion won, compared to the Leopard's higher cost. According to Military Balance 2024, Armenia's armored fleet currently includes approximately 109 main battle tanks, mostly Soviet-era models such as the T-72A divided by B, T-55, T-54, and a single T-90A, all modernized by Russia. However, these tanks have suffered losses in recent conflicts with Azerbaijan, particularly in the Nagorno-Karabakh region. Acquiring the K-2 would represent a significant upgrade, providing Armenia with cutting-edge technology in its long-standing military tensions with Azerbaijan. The K-2 Black Panther, developed for fast, network-centric warfare, entered service in 2014. It is equipped with a 120mm 55 caliber smoothbore gun capable of firing various types of munitions, including APFSDS and heat rounds. Its auto-loading system allows a high firing rate of 10 rounds per minute, with a total ammunition capacity of 40 rounds. The tank's secondary armaments include a 12.7mm heavy machine gun and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. Powered by a 12-cylinder diesel engine producing 1,500 horsepower, the K2 can reach speeds of up to 70 km per hour on roads and 50 km per hour on rough terrain. Its operational range is approximately 450 km, and its advanced suspension system allows it to navigate challenging terrains and enhance its combat capabilities. In terms of protection, the K-2 features composite armor with optional modular explosive reactive armor, ERA, and non-explosive reactive armor, NARA, kits. It also includes active defense systems such as radar and laser warning receivers, and the capability to deploy multispectral smoke grenades to evade enemy targeting systems. Armenia's pursuit of the K-2 tank reflects a broader shift in its defense procurement strategy. Historically reliant on Russia, Armenia has begun diversifying its arms suppliers due to Moscow's inability to fulfill military contracts, driven by its involvement in the conflict in Ukraine. In response, Armenia has signed defense deals with other countries, including India for the purchase of artillery, rocket systems and air defense equipment. Armenia has also increased its defense budget significantly, allocating 1.28 billion US dollars for 2023, a 46% rise from the previous year, with further increases planned for 2024. This budget expansion supports Armenia's goal of modernizing its military, adopting Western standards in defense equipment, and strengthening its position in the region. The war in Ukraine and Russia's unwillingness to intervene in Armenian-Azerbaijani conflicts have pushed Armenia to seek new security arrangements. In 2022, Moscow declined to intervene during a major border clash between Armenia and Azerbaijan, prompting Yerevan to invite an EU monitoring mission and distance itself from the Collective Security Treaty Organization, CSTO. Armenia has also effectively frozen its participation in CSTO activities, further signaling its pivot away from Russian-led security agreements. As part of its Western pivot, Armenia has signed contracts with countries such as India, attended international defense exhibitions, and engaged in discussions for military procurements from nations like South Korea and France. 
These developments underscore Armenia's commitment to enhancing its military capabilities and diversifying its defense partnerships in an increasingly unstable geopolitical environment.